Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. Today we're going to look at the settings in Escape from Tarkov. How you can make it look nicer, run smoother, make spotting enemies a bit easier. Just generally make you have a more enjoyable experience in the game. I've got back into it since it wiped a few days ago. Been loving it, playing with a few of the guys from Pirate Gaming. We'll dive in, have a look at NVIDIA control panel settings. They can make a difference. We'll look at the settings in the game itself. Uh, there's a bit of a before and after clip here for the intro. You can see the difference that it's made. It's not exactly brighter, but things pop out more. The colours are more vibrant, so it's definitely worth doing. It's, it's made me perform better in the game, and I can see things easier and stuff. I'm colourblind, so I have to do this sort of stuff to make games like this a bit easier. Otherwise, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes. If you find this video helpful then drop a like down below, I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe bell, notification bell, so you get notified every time I upload. I'd really appreciate it. Once again, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you're new or returning, I'll speak to you in the next video. Catch you later. Right, first we'll start with the NVIDIA control panel settings. So I've got specific settings set for Escape from Tarkov. If you haven't set your global settings which is the overall settings on nvidia control panel i've done a video on that previously i'll leave a card at the top of the screen somewhere but we're just going to set something specific for tarkov so just open up nvidia control panel on manage 3d settings you want to click on program settings at the top once that loads you'll see i've selected tarkov if you don't see tarkov in this list just press the add button there and then find tarkov on your computer wherever it is that you have it installed and find the escape from tarkov.exe the executable and add that in and then that'll allow you to set the settings specific for this game but the things that i've changed are highlighted in bold so anisotropic filtering stick that on application controlled anti-aliasing fx ai turn that off anti-aliasing gamma correction turn that on anti-aliasing mode off anti-aliasing transparency turn that off Q to GPUs, you want to select that on all, which to do that, you just go in the, the drop down box and click this second option. You should see your graphics card listed there. This may be set in the global setting, but we're just making sure it's applied to this program in this screen. So it's probably applying the same thing twice, but it's better to have it twice than not at all. Low latency mode. I've used both on and ultra, but use ultra. So it doesn't really make much of a difference to the system the performance hit on your computer but it will just work a bit quicker multi-frame sampled anti-aliasing mfaa turn that off OpenGL rendering gpu select the gpu that you've got in your system i've got a 3070 whatever you've got select it there power management mode prefer maximum performance Preferred refresh rate, highest available. You should be setting that for most of games anyway, if you've got a high refresh rate monitor. Shader cache, turn that on. Texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization, turn that on. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, stick that on high performance. Texture filtering, tri-linear optimization, turn that on as well. Threaded optimization, you want that on. And vertical sync, off. Once you've done all those, I've already applied them, so I don't have the apply button at the bottom. Once you've changed all those, you'll see OK and apply at the bottom. Just hit apply, and then you can quit out of control panel. One thing just to check as well, which will help with visibility. It helps me with visibility in games like Tarkov and Warzone and survival games where you're having to spot people quickly. Just drop down onto adjust desktop color settings on the main game monitor that you've got on your computer and bump this digital vibrance up to i have it on 80 i'm colorblind so you may not want it that high somewhere between 70 and 80 should do you will notice a difference the colors will be much more vibrant i've mentioned that in my other video about nvidia control panel as well which again i'll link with a card here as well at the top of the screen that's it for nvidia control panel so next we'll move on to the in-game settings in Tarkov and what we can do there to make it look nicer and run smoother. Right, jumping into the game itself, you just want to head into the settings. It's opened up on controls, I don't know why. We'll move into game. 
these won't really affect how it looks these are just preferences for gameplay so I change my stamina and stance to be always shown my health condition to be always shown health color scheme it's kind of ironic being colorblind but I change this from monochrome to polychrome so I can see in the top left of the, the screen when you get hit when you get damaged you'll see a colored representation of the status of each body part so if you get a blacked out leg or limb or you get shot in the head the colors will change and you'll know what you need to heal and where you need to take cover and quickly get a cheese out your pocket start healing uh, the rest of the settings my fov i slide up to 67 because i like to see more you will have to be a little bit more precise with your aim but i think spotting people and being able to take cover is just as important as being able to aim it's a combination of the two i have automatic ram cleaner unticked i've got 32 gig of ram so i don't really have a problem if you've got you're running on 8 gig of ram especially you want to tick this setting maybe on 16 as well but anything above 16 and above you should be okay with leaving it unchecked I only use physical cores that's ticked i'm running a ryzen 7 3700x processor so it's got enough physical cores to check that if you're running a lower processor with not as many physical cores you may want to uncheck that and just play with that i found this setting works better for me and my system head bobbing drop that down to 0.2 moving over to the graphics panel i'm playing at 1440p 144 hertz monitor so i've got that selected at the top there the aspect ratio obviously is selected as well in full screen mode and then we, we go, I'll run through these settings quickly. Texture quality, high. Shadow quality, low. Shadows are a really big problem for me in this game with the default settings. I find it's really dark. I struggle to see people when they're ratting out in a corner. So I'll turn that down to low. Object LOD quality, drop that down to two. Overall visibility, 1500. This affects how far away you can see stuff. If you've got a really powerful computer, go you could push that up a little bit more my system's quite good i've got a 3070 and as i said a 3700x i see this on 1500 if you're running a lower end system try dropping that down a little bit shadow visibility again the shadows just really really mess up my ability to spot enemies so i drop that down to 40 anti-aliasing is taa resampling is one times off hbio off ssr off Anisotropic filtering, turn that off. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is a feature that's been added in a, a recent driver by NVIDIA to be supported in Escape from Tarkov. Turn that to on and boost. You get a decent frame rate jump by having that turned on. Sharpness, I set a 1.1. And then Lobby FPS limit is 60. Uh, these options at the bottom. So everything unticked apart from MIP streaming or MIP streaming. Moving over into post effects, this is the screen that I find makes the biggest difference for visibility and what the game looks like and how I'm able to spot enemies. So brightness, I crank that up to 75. Saturation, 25. Clarity, 30. Colorfulness, 35. Luma sharpen and adaptive sharpen, have them both on 10. The color grading, Stefano I find is the best one. I've messed around with these a little bit and tried loads of different ones. I like Stefano on an intensity of 20. And then colorblind mode. I have tried this because I am colorblind. I've turned it on to Protonopia. And I turned the intensity right up, but it just it makes the game look too unrealistic for me. I like a bit of realism in it. It's one of those sorts of games. So I tend to leave that off. I may mess around with it a bit more and do some videos focused on making games look better and easier to play for colorblind gamers because i am one and it is sometimes it can be a pain but that's all the settings that we can set that you need to set within the game itself i find this has made my time in tarkov a little bit easier more enjoyable i'm really getting into it thanks for viewing the video if this helped you out let me know in the settings below let me know what rig you're running and what sort of fps you get in and that sort of thing what the game looks like if you found it helpful click on that subscribe button click the notification bell so you're notified when i upload we're going to be there's a new schedule coming from my channel going forward so there's going to be one video a week every sunday i'll be streaming every monday wednesday and friday on youtube 
and then I'm going to try and get a YouTube short uploaded every day. Speak to you in the next video, guys. Catch you later.